Let's start by building a data table with a direct method of sensitivity analysis. As discussed earlier, the direct method links to inputs and changes them to show you different outputs. In this case, the output that we want to sensitize is the equity value per share. Please link that into this cell here. I had colored it white for formatting purposes. I'll leave it black for a moment so we can understand where it's linking. Now, across this part of the data table, we need to pick different revenue growth rate assumptions. On the other side, I've decided to sensitize the EBITDA exit multiple of this business, which determines the terminal value. I think that a reasonable assumption for revenue growth rates could be a range from 0% growth to 20% growth. The model is currently running at 10. Let's start by typing in 0. We're then going to make a formula that takes 0 plus 5%, which we copy across and fill right. On the other side of the table, I'm going to play with the EBITDA exit multiple. If we scroll up here, we will see that the terminal value of this business is based on an EV to EBITDA exit multiple of eight times. Let's sensitize a range of EV to EBITDA exit multiples between six times and Ten times, with eight being in the middle. I've structured this data table so that the base case assumption of 10% revenue growth and eight times EV to EBITDA exit multiple hits the exact center of the data table. To quickly review, let's scroll up and see where the EV to EBITDA multiple is located, which is right here. Let's also scroll up and see where the revenue growth figure is located, which is right here. These are the two cells that we are going to link into the data table. With those two cells linked in, Excel then performs an analysis of substituting in these values we've put in here in place of the original hard-coded values. Now that we have the data table set up to plug in different revenue growth rate assumptions and different EV to EBITDA exit multiple assumptions, let's actually link this up. As you recall, the output that we're going to sensitize is share price. The inputs that I'm going to flow through the model are revenue growth, which is up here in our assumptions, and exit multiple, which is down here in the DCF assumptions. In order to fill in the table, we highlight the entire area using our shortcuts. We pull up the data table input area. The row that we want to sensitize is revenue across the top here. The column is exit multiple. So let's link the revenue figure first. Recall that it's located up at the top in the key assumptions area. Next, we link the column, which is the exit multiple, and then we'll press OK. If we scroll down to our table, we look and see that it's working because at 8 times exit multiple and 10% growth, we have a share price of $34.85, which is the current case that's running in the model. We can then see intuitively that as revenue growth increases, the share prices are getting higher from left to right. We can also see that as the exit multiple increases from top to bottom, share prices are getting higher still. The bottom right corner is the highest result, top left is the lowest. We can reformat this cell back to a white font 
since we don't need to see it displayed there. Congratulations, you now have a properly functioning data table sensitivity analysis on your share price. Now it's time to link up data tables using the indirect method of sensitivity analysis. This differs from the direct method which we did previously in that we will now be editing formulas as opposed to just changing hard codes. Excel can only produce sensitivity analysis on hard codes, however, so we need to create a separate section below where we will have a hard-coded input for each variable that feeds into a live formula. Let's start by putting zero values in each of these categories. We're then going to do a plus or minus, in this case with the revenue, plus or minus 5%. Variability for cost of goods sold will be similar. The discount rate being a little less volatile, we will sensitize as plus or minus 1%. And finally, the exit multiple will be plus or minus 1 times. Now that we have each of these tables set up, let's link them into the formulas above. In the case of revenue growth, you will recall that the formula is located up at the income statement. Let's alter the revenue growth formula, which is currently equal to the previous year times 1 plus the growth rate. We now want it to be equal to the previous year times 1 plus the growth rate plus the sensitivity analysis which in this case is set to zero, so it won't change the base case operating model. Once I have it linked up and I've anchored the cell, I can now select all the cells to the right and press Control R to copy it across. I now see that it's linked up properly. The same thing is done with cost of goods sold. It's equal to revenue multiplied by the cost of goods sold assumption. I will now add plus the sensitivity analysis variable. Once again set to zero, so it doesn't impact the financial model. I select that and fill right. Scrolling back down to the tables, let's set up the discount rate now. The discount rate fills into the intrinsic value calculation. It's based on a hard-coded discount rate assumption above. I want to take that assumption and add to it our little sensitivity analysis change here. In this way, I've indirectly impacted the NPV calculation. And finally, exit multiple. Exit multiple drives the terminal growth value, rather terminal value, which I can add some sensitivity to by linking it to this cell. I now have all four of these inputs as indirectly influencing the formulas in the financial model. Now that the indirect sensitivity tables are set up, let's link them. We need to decide what we want to sensitize in terms of an output. In this case, it's going to be the same as the data table above, where we sensitize share price. Let's copy the share price over into this cell on each table. The way these tables are set up is that the hard-coded input is on the left and the output is on the right. We can select the area of the table here and use the shortcut Alt-A-W-T to input a table. In this case, the column is what we want to substitute out or sensitize. So we'll link the column to the input cell. If done correctly, we can look at the sensitivity table above and make sure it matches. As you see, when revenue growth D 
decreases by 5% from the original forecast, the share price is $28.11. This ties up with above. Conversely, when revenue growth is 5% above forecast, or 15%, we get a share price of $42.83. The same is in this table, so we know it's working correctly. Now let's select the area for cost of goods sold, and link it up in the same fashion. Now discount rate, and finally exit multiple. Again, with the exit multiple changes, I can look at the table above and see that when the exit multiple decreases from 8 to 7, I get a share price of $31.97, which ties here. And when it increases to 9 times, I get a price of $37.72, the same as here. So I now have confidence that these are all correctly linked up.